So if you've drawn something nice like this uh, senior capstone project that they're working on this year, a little bridge across the Carabasset River, uh, you can actually apply regular materials and stuff to it. And I know this goes off your screen, but if you go down to Tools, Visualization, and Materials, and I'll just open a toolbox so that the thing shows up out here, we can uh, define different materials. So you see there's a bunch in here already. You can also open, palette open, and pick up any more that you want. If you haven't done any of it before, then uh, they won't they won't come up until you until you open them like that. Anyway, so if we take something like concrete uh, or one of the other concretes, it'll show a preview of it here, and then I can assign that material by using this dialog. And let's say we want to assign it to the foundations level. Now I've made that into concrete. Uh, along the same lines, if we look at metals, uh, let's see, I think he was using this cast iron color. So it switches to that. Put that on the on the bridge girders. And then we can do some wood, because it's a wood deck. I think he's using wood 42. You can see when I hit that plus minus, this shows that it's already been applied to the decking. So if I want to use the same material, I can easily do that. So I can put it on the wood stringers. And then notice how it doesn't quite update, but if I close out of all this stuff and hit the repaint, now it's starting to show uh, the, the materials that I've applied to it. So that looks pretty nice. So from the same dialog, you can remove materials too. So if you want to remove an assignment, say of the concrete. You can do that. So you can pick some other kind of concrete. I don't know, maybe you want uh, that one. And we can apply it there. i got to switch my tool to the assigned material. So we have that style of concrete instead. Notice that it changed it on the abutment too, because it's all on the same level, same color. Once you get it the way you want it, you can close these out, and there's a utility that you can print, essentially print an image. And so let's do that. Save, and we'll put it in the CA-101. And we'll call it Carabasset Bridge. And it comes out in a picture just like this, a JPEG that you can send to anybody doesn't have that 3D spin around to it, but sometimes everybody, not everybody, sometimes people just want a, a static image. If you want to get a little fancier, we can even set an image as the background, uh, which is pretty cool. So you go to Settings, Design File, Views, and then Background, and then I just got to pick Let's see, how about this Glen Canyon? So now, in the background, you see the Glen Canyon Bridge. Uh, so maybe I want to replace it with, the, or show this new one that I'm putting in there, Capstone Project. And you can essentially just spin this around and place it however you want. You can use the rotate and the pan view to kind of move the bridge around to make it look like it's going across, in this case, the Glen Canyon. So that's pretty cool. When you print an image, like I just showed, the utilities image uh, system there to make a JPEG out of it, that'll show the background image, but if you print to a 3D PDF, uh, the image in the background doesn't come out. So you know, it works for some things, doesn't for others. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'll let you play around with those tools and uh, make your project look nice.